Usuals, my name is Luke, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to make this like gate system thing that will like take you to another game. That a lot of like, a lot of story games and all that horror games, you know, they use these, and it's really cool. It's got an exit button and all that. So let's get straight into it. Dookies. Now that we're here, we're gonna click on View, and we're gonna click on Explorer and Properties, and we're gonna click on Toolbox. Now you're gonna go down to the pinned comment, and you're gonna get this: Story Series Lobby Gate Kit. We're gonna add that to our game. We are just gonna click OK. Do K. Now we're gonna open up this, and we're gonna put everything in its designated area. we done that um by the way if you don't know how to like ungroup stuff do control u and then it will just you know put everything where it needs to be right now that we've done that we can shut toolbox because we don't need that anymore now we can open this and we can click on this players allowed this is how many players are allowed into this one gate so you can have it as many as you want i'm just going to set it to one just because I'm going to be the only one that's playing it at the moment. You've got the gate. You can customise like the colour and everything on here. You know, change the colour of this. Make it red, blue, green, white. Let's make it white. Um, and then we've got the teleport point. We can make this one. Well, like, make it invisible. If you want, where's transparency? There we go. Change it to one. So it's invisible. But that's where the person is going to be teleported to. So I'm just going to change it back down to like that. Just then, you know, where you're getting teleported to. So you can make this over there or somewhere in the far distance where you get teleported to when you go into this. Right. And we're going to open this, the main script. This is the fully, this is like the full script. Like for the, the whole gate, this is all you need pretty much. But where it says teleport ID, it calls zero zero. Yeah, we gotta change that. This, that's not our game. Um, so to make another game inside of a game, you need to click on, click on View, click on Asset Manager, and now we gotta save our game to Roblox first. So I'm just gonna name it Tutorial. There we go. Got my spelling very correct. I don't know why I'm doing that, um, but now we got to save it to Roblox. Right, okay, so now that I've opened this back up, we're going to click on places, we're going to double click so it opens this, and you're going to have the game that you're on right now, but we need to add another game, so we're going to right click in this grey area, and we'll go, or white, whatever yours is, and you're going to click add new place. Uh, it's just gonna add that just this random place now go right click and um click copy id to clipboard go click that and now we're gonna go back into the script and we can put um our like right thing there we can we can oh control. there we go so that's our game id but um we need to go into game settings, go into security, and allow third party teleports. We are boom, and now we can click save. Now everything should work. I won't get teleported to the game because you can't get teleported to other games in which side of Roblox Studio. Because you know. so you've got the timer, you can change it to however long you want it go in here you go to get teleported in here you can like make a box around so but if you click this exit button it's going to kill you and you won't get teleported when it turns to zero as you can see right there now if we go in here and we wait for the time to go down see it says one player too that's very cool 
if someone else tries to go in here, then it's not gonna work. But when the timer goes to zero, our screen is gonna like turn black and you're gonna start getting teleported. In the actual game you'll get teleported, but this is just Roblox Studio and you can't get teleported. Because if we look inside of the output, um see look, function teleport, there we go. Now that is very cool right there. So you can use this for like a story game or uh, like a horror game or whatever you're going to use it for. Um, but yeah, that's it. Make sure to like and subscribe and comment down below if you have any problems or if you have any video ideas for me to do. And um, to lose.